we understand um, as a pillar. Do you think that your claim, I mean, I think these days where everything is controlled and you know, we're all sitting with it, you know, most of us looking at computer screens all day, well, computers are nearly always right. Um, you know, they're, 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 they're very, they don't, they're don't, very, I don't have one. Right. Okay, well, you're lucky. <laughs> they're very predictable. Yeah. And do you think that, we, that we're longing for that unpredictableness, you know, that, that sense yeah. of, I don't know, where you look at a fire and it's always flickering and yeah, everything's yeah. different, or yeah. the ocean's always, always different, isn't it? Yeah, so maybe that's one of the functions of artists. <laughs> so you, you, can, you can see these, through, these things through the work of artists. You know? yes. um, people might like to, you know, vicariously be in all these landscapes through my work, mm -hmm. and they might not be able to do it themselves. Yeah. What about um, things like, I mean, you know, on the theme of technology, I mean, mobile phones or global yeah. positioning systems? Yeah. Do you shun that or? No, I don't. Don't particularly shun it. I'm, I'm not a political person. I, I don't have any um, dogmatic views about. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm not against technology at all. You know, I use airplanes to get Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking of, you know, these um, um, navigational systems that yeah, you have yeah. in Calm, they try and work out the most direct route. Yeah. When I look at a lot of your work, you're looking yeah. at as the crow flies or the most yeah. direct route for me to be. Yeah. Have you thought of no, no, I mean, I, I just use a, a compass. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I suppose I couldn't. I mean, uh, why use a fancy thing if you can use a compass? Sure. But, but you could upset it. You could program it to do strange things. <laughs> You mean the compass? Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I was in New Zealand recently and my compass didn't work at all. Okay, the neighbours have said no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On, the, on the accuracy of your work, do you have a kind of guess? Kind of guess? Do you guess? Um, what do you mean where I am? No, I mean in, in terms of like it's very, it's very factory across <coughs> a bit. And yeah, some of it. You, not, not all of it. No, yeah. but, but the ones that are. Well, especially in the early days, you know, because I knew that there was a whole traditions of walking and a whole traditions of um, landscape art and everything. So part of the idea of the straight you know, walking in the straight lines was because it's a type of walking that had never been done. So in a way, I had to like set out the parameters about making new ways of walking. Yes. And, and then many years later, I can be more poetic, or I can use words, or I can um, you know, walk in many, many different ways. So you know, I wouldn't say that I'm always walking in straight yeah, lines. Yeah. But it was necessary to do those. Mm. Mm. I quite like the ones where, where the following of the river is the Andrews. Yeah. Those kind of yeah, sure. I mean, that's so part, like, part of the deal for me about staying the walk. And I spoke to my yeah. phone and said, You might need to leave that early, you can just walk straight like that. Yeah, yeah. And I said, No, the whole point for me is about being by the sea. Right. Yeah. Um, and I like the sense of walking by a river yeah. or yeah. the sea because that's moving too. Sure. Yeah. You know, where you're walking on land and it's, you know, so it's not a lot yeah. happening. So, in time. a way, you're tracing a natural. Yeah. yeah. I mean, one walk I did in Scotland in the seventies was to um, I drew a perfect circle on the map and then started walking the circle. Every time the circle came to a leg, I had to walk around the shape of the leg. So that was a sort of common, you know, a classic combination of like the shape of my walk, which is a pretty sort of very human, um, rational, um, platonic idea, intersected with like the real shapes of like real places. In terms of the materials that you use, um, you know, you've got a very direct, very kind of honest way of using actual materials. Yeah. You know, like we've made on the workshop that time and time again, isn't it? Well, that's partly yeah. because I was born in Bristol. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and uh, Cornish slate features as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quite regular. That kind of directness with the with the materials, I think, is very, um, I suppose, topical these days. You're not adding any more stuff to the world. You know, it's, it already no. exists. So well, I, you know, I think. Yeah, that's a good point, really. But again, I'm, I'm not against art that uses, you know, TVs or technology. But it just, but it's a good point that, um, I, I, like, partly I come from a generation, uh, you know, which people call it like conceptual art, where we, we did actually question the idea where our artists were just churning out more objects to fill the world with. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I think my work has a little bit to do with that. You know, you can still be an artist without, like, um, being production on like you know more objects and um, you know building more monuments. In, in fact, in fact, actually walking is um you know I, li I like to think that um, walking can bring a kind of scale to a work of art, which is which is far greater than any monument. I, I can make a by walking I can make a work of art which is a thousand miles long. Yes. So, so there's many ways to you know skin a cat. Sorry.
read somewhere that you were um, inspired by ancient Roman Well, that's wrong. Is it? Is it really ancient? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you which ones, because... <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. Anyway, you know, I mean, I was always interested in, um, partly from my own, but, you know, my, my parents were always, I, I always had, like, corners in, in the West Country, so I was always, like, something familiar with them. Um, we used to have a caravan to Coy Bay, or, you know, my grandfather used to live on Dartmoor. Um, so I, I had a sort of feeling that I used to go cycling with my father hitchhiking and stuff. But um, I didn't. I, so I was. I actually. And, and I'm, at the time, I was always like drawing and painting. So I was always an artist when I was a young kid, without knowing anything about like Stonehenge or Avery or um, any of those places. And I think I, I actually. I only saw Stonehenge for the first time when I was about 20. So it wasn't. Um, I, th I think I just loved it. My childhood pursuits um, inform my art much more than um, you know, places like Stonehenge. Yeah, that makes real sense for me. I mean, I suppose I can see in your work this, this contrast of the very humble, very honest yeah, yeah. material. And then, but then you do contrast that maybe with quite grand ideas, like tonight's, so. a, tonight's a, full, a full moon, for instance. You yeah, know? Yeah. And then I've, I noticed that you've done other ones like um, Eden, Millennia, and so on. Well, I mean, there's all this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? You're looking for problems. Yeah, absolutely. But did you propose the idea of the full moon for tonight? No, no, no. No, I just said I said four dates, and Richard, you know, eight cents. No, I mean, there's all this stuff to use. You know, and there's all this cosmic stuff. You know, like eclipses and like you know, equinoxes. So, so do you look forward to the winter's day? Do you look forward to the next kind of palette tree, you know? Some, sometimes. I've done another work with the writing last time. Yeah. You know, um, but... Um, I mean, there's yeah. quite significant just the ordinary as well, isn't there? Absolutely. You can use anything. Why not? So, I mean, a few years ago I started, you know, I had the idea that, um, like, normally when we measure walking by, by days, days and nights, you know, it's just like that. <coughs> so that. But why not um, measure walks by the moon? You know? So yeah. I, I started measuring by walks by the tides. Yeah. So that's just another possibility. You know, you use the moon for it. Maybe. And, and, and the tides are really interesting. They're not. Um, they're slightly different all around the coast. So, you know, so, so like the, the tides are like the sea breathing. You know, and it, it sort of goes up and down different places. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, so you can get Wolfie and Milo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>